Kiki. Say hi to YouTube. Say hi. Hi. Can you guys get an idea of what my series is all about based on the intro of this video? You might be able to tie that clip in to the title of this particular video. So if you guys figured it out, awesomeness to you. Let's find out if you're right. Roll that intro! here on Vlogs of 7 and before I get into the topic at hand I just want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving hope you guys are enjoying all your Thanksgiving plans whether at home or somewhere else so I hope all you guys out there have a fun filled happy Thanksgiving so this week's topic was to create our own series and I was totally inspired when this topic came out that I was just jotting down so many notes to create my own anime series and its title is Neko Neko. I'm not sure if I want to keep that title or not or change it to something in the future, but that's what I'm calling it for now. It's basically about this young woman whose mission in life is to help as many cats as possible. And in this series, these cats are either abused, abandoned, or just have plain behavioral issues that no one can figure out. And she's called in to see if she can help these cats. In addition to that, she's also solving mysteries and figuring out who's committing these crimes in her community and it's basically like a code breaker kind of series that has to do with cats those of you who have read code breaker know what I'm talking about but it's not really about people who are above the law or anything it's people similar to the code breakers but not really so that's the basic premise of what my series is all about let me introduce you to the main characters our first character is our female protagonist, and her name is Neko Ona, which basically means Catwoman. Nobody knows what her real name is because no one refers to her as that. So we don't get to find out what that is until later in the series. At first, a lot of people assume that she's this crazy old lady who has thousands of cats in her mansion. But in reality, it's the exact opposite. She's a high school aged young woman who only has four cats and isn't all that crazy. She has the ability to communicate with cats and has some powers of a yokai. She has the power to manipulate fire and create illusions and she's very good at that. Most of the time you can see her wearing cat ears, a long kimono and she sometimes adds a cat tail, a fake cat tail, to give herself the appearance of a cat. So that's some of the stuff that has to go into what my female protagonist is all about. I'm not going to spoil everything for you because I want you guys to kind of wonder what this series is all going to be about. Our second character's name is Baku and he is about yay tall and he is a ghost cat who takes the appearance of a young male and he is actually the first cat that she helped and they met when they were very young so they're childhood friends and he assists her throughout the series with all of her crime solving mystery endeavors. Our last character's name is Ray and he is a fellow detective and a dog person. In the beginning of the series his mission is to basically prove that Neko Ona is a fake. He doesn't believe that she has these powers that she claims to have and that she can solve these mysteries by talking to cats. And that's what he wants to disprove, that she can't do it. Early in the series, the two of them end up having to work together on a case. And throughout this case, he ends up finding out that she's for real, that she can actually do these things that she claims to do. And she converts him from being a dog person to a cat person. And the two of them end up being partners. Uh, they end up talking to... Um, the right people and they end up working together on all their cases. So that's all the characters that I have so far in my series. I'm not going to divulge too much because I want to keep it a little bit of a surprise for everybody. Be on the lookout for more updates about this on my main channel 
And that's all I have to say about this week's topic. I'll be back next week with our next topic, and we will see the Metalhead Bookworm tomorrow. See you guys later. Have a good day.